Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel of Devnis Mathematics Desk. So as you can see, today's uh, new chapter for class eight, rational numbers. Okay. So we will see what it is. Okay. So this is a huge chapter. So it has a few parts. We will do step by step. We were starting my video on this brand new chapter. You thanks to all of you who have supported my channel so well. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, keep supporting my channel if you found my videos informative and helpful. All the sums that I do, all the formulas, if it were helpful for you, okay. It motivates me to make better videos for you all. So without wasting much more time, let's see what we have here. Rational numbers. You know fractions? So rational numbers are actually a type of fraction. Let us see how. So rational numbers are a type of fraction like this p by q in the form of p by q. Where p can be any integer. Q can also be any integer except 0. So, this is basically rational, rational numbers means rule. And P and Q have to be means not infinite numbers. Like uh, 1.32567899 and it keeps going on. Oh my god, whatever. It can't be that way, okay? It has to be a finite number. An integer and q is also also has to be an integer except zero. P is value can be zero, but q's value can be zero. The denominator of a rational number it can never be zero. Okay, it is undefined. Denominator can never be zero. Remember this thing. This is the form of a rational number. Okay. And so today we are going to focus on the addition of rational numbers and a few properties of rational numbers okay so we will see step by step what they are so for the means addition of rational numbers suppose two rational numbers are there a by b comma c by d there are a few properties okay let me tell you one by one for two rational numbers a b and c d a b plus c d equal to c c by d plus a by b a by b plus c by d or c by d plus a by b this is called the commutative property okay of addition Two rational numbers. These are two rational numbers actually. So you understood the commutative property of addition for two rational numbers. There are some a by b plus c by d equal to c by d plus a by b. It will be same. That is a commutative property. Next, suppose we have three rational numbers. A by b, comma c by d comma e by f three rational numbers so i did four here okay this is another property for these three rational numbers are there suppose the property is a by b plus in brackets c by d plus e by f equal to a by b plus c by d in brackets plus e by f understood first of all we take c by d and e by f in brackets they are sum plus a by b will be equal to a by b plus c by d in brackets plus e by f this property is called the associative property okay of addition hope you can understand we have taken three rational numbers a by b plus the sum of c by d and e by f is equal to the sum of a by p plus c by d with e by f that is the associative property of addition so these are two properties we learned now another one is there for one rational number suppose Rational number a by b 
एडिटिव इनवर्स इक्वल टू माइनस के बाई बी ओके एंड रिमेंबर वन रैशनल नंबर प्लस इट्स एडिटिव इनवर्स I know space is not there. It will be equal to zero. So this is another thing for a rational number a by b. Additive inverse is minus a by b. Okay, and one rational number plus its additive inverse will be equal to zero. Okay. See here a by b plus minus a by b means what? A minus a by b which is zero by b. Zero by any number is equal to zero, so the property is absolutely correct. So these are the few properties of addition of rational numbers. Okay, for two rational numbers, a b plus a by b plus c by d equal to c by b plus a by b, commutative property. Then for three rational numbers, a by b, c by d, e by f, a by b plus sum of c by d and e by f will be equal to a by b plus c by d sum plus e by f, called the associative property of addition. Okay. For one rational number a by b, additive inverse equal to minus a by b, and one rational number plus its additive inverse, it is equal to zero. Okay, so we are now going to see. So these are all the properties what which I taught you. Just remember them. Very easy. I have taken two rational numbers for the commutative property, three for the associative, and one for the additive inverse. An additive inverse plus a rational number is equal to zero. So this is this is basically all about the concepts. I hope you can understand. And this one for a rational number p by q, p or uh, p the numerator can be any integer. Q can also be any integer except zero. That's the main point. Okay. So the denominator can be anything except zero, but p can be anything. Okay. So let's focus on the sums now. One. They are asking five by minus twenty six plus eight by thirty nine equal to question mark. Okay. See that? No, not see that. Check it. The sum. Is also a rational number. Rational number or not? Okay, another very important concept. This one, a by minus b equal to minus a by b. Okay. Remember this thing. If you are means you might get confused. So a by minus b. It is equal to minus a by b. Remember that. So what I can write is as or minus five by twenty six plus eight by thirty nine. So LCM. You know how to find lowest common multiple. I am doing it directly here. The lowest common multiple of twenty six and thirty nine. It is seventy eight. Okay. The CM of twenty six and thirty nine equal to seventy eight. So this means what? What we have to do? Or minus five multiplied by seventy eight by twenty six divided by seventy eight. Plus eight into seventy eight by thirty nine divided by seventy eight. So that is the method. I hope you know that first seventy eight by this multiplied by minus five and seventy eight by thirty nine multiplied by eight. Okay, that is the method. So this becomes minus five seventy eight by twenty eight seventy eight by twenty six. It is three. 
plus 8 into 78 by 30 and it is 2. Divided by 78. You know that A by B plus C by B suppose. A plus C by B. The denominators are same, just add the numerators. That is the principle, okay? So doing that, this becomes equal to minus 15 plus 16 by 78 equal to 1 by 78. Okay, that is the sum. So I hope you can understand. First of all, we found out the LCM is 78. So 78 by 26 into minus 5. Then 7 plus 78 by 39 into 8. That's the process. Solving these common denominators, does add these numerators. You get this as 1 by 78. Now, you have to check if this sum is also a rational number or not. So see, this is in the form of P by Q, okay? So P or 1, it is an integer. 1 is an integer. And this 78 Q, this is also an integer but it is not 0. So all the conditions are satisfying for this to be a rational number. Therefore, sum is a rational number. Hope it's solved for you. Final LCM, LCM by this into this plus LCM by this into this. Then doing the calculation, numerators get added up for the common denominator. And if you just then solve, it becomes 1 by 78, 1 or P is an integer, Q or 78 is also integer but not 0. And that is the condition for a rational number. So the sum 1 by 78, it is also a rational number. It is being checked. Very easy. Let's solve the next question. That's all. Okay. Today in the video, we will be focusing on the concepts of rational numbers and the addition of rational numbers. We will go very slow but steady. Another sum. 7 by minus 18 plus 8 by 27 equal to what? Check if the sum is a rational number. or not. So again, a by minus b, it is minus a by b or minus 7 by 18 plus 8 by 27 LCM of the denominators. So LCM of 18 and 27, it is 54. Okay. Then the process equal to minus 7 into 54 by 18 divided by 54 plus 8 into 54 by 27 divided by 54. Okay. Equal to minus 7 into 3 by 54 plus 8 into 2 by 54 minus 7 into 3 okay so this the numerators get added up for the common denominator equal to minus 7 into 3 minus 21 plus 16 by 54 equal to minus 5 by 54 very well so a by minus b we convert it into minus a by b okay the denominator should be positive it helps us to find out the LCM much easier way. So the LCM is 54. So 54 by denominator into numerator plus 54 by denominator to numerator. And the denominator will be this LCM. Okay. For well, the numerator's formula is, I hope you can understand, numerator into LCM by denominator. Okay. It is like this. Numerator into LCM by 
डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइड बाय एक से सो एन इज द न्यूमरेटर टी इज द डिनोमिनेटर ओके न्यूमरेटर इनटू एलसीएम बाय डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइड बाय एलसीएम दैट इज द फार्मूला फॉर कन्वर्टिंग द एक्सप्रेशन ओके विद द सेम डिनोमिनेटर्स व्हेन देयर आर सेम डिनोमिनेटर्स ऐड अप द न्यूमरेटर्स एंड दे डोंट गेट दिस एज माइनस फाइव बाय फिफ्टी फोर नॉट अ बिग इश्यू Now we have to check if this is a rational number or not. The sum has to be checked. Minus five. This is an integer. Fifty-four. It is an integer, but it is not zero. So see, for the for one number to be a rational number, p by q and p is an integer. Q is also an integer. Q is not equal to zero. That's all. So that's satisfied. Therefore, sum is a rational number. Very well. So just see, it's a very easy concept. Add up the numbers by finding out the LCM, and using this form to calculate the numerators respectively for the LCM denominator. <coughs> Then check if the sum p by q is in that form. And p and q are integers, and q is not equal to zero. That's all. If it is yes, sum is a rational number. Very easy. Let's solve the next question. This is a means very good chapter with some concepts. But if you just means be a little bit wise and just learn these things properly, then I think it's a game for means an easy game rather nothing else. Now we have been given the task of evaluating. Next few songs will be on evaluation. What? What do you want to evaluate us, man? Three by seven plus minus four by nine plus minus eleven by seven. Plus seven by nine. So what I can do for these two common denominators, I can multiply so them, add their numerators. Equal to three plus minus eleven by seven plus minus four plus seven by nine. Isn't it that for the common denominators, I am adding the numerators respectively on them, as you can see. So with that it becomes three minus eleven minus eight by seven plus minus four plus seven. It is three three by nine. Okay, three by nine. If you simplify it, it is one by three equal to minus eight by seven plus one by three. Now that form LCM of seven comma three very easy twenty one. So this will be equal to what? Numerator minus eight into LCM by denominator or twenty one by seven divided by LCM plus again numerator into LCM by denominator which is three divided by denominator equal to minus eight into three plus One into any number is that number. So what twenty one by three seven and directly like by twenty. Why denominators are same? The numerators get added up. Nothing else. Equal to minus twenty four plus seven by twenty one. Equal to minus seventeen by thirty. Hope that is the answer. So let me just check. So again for the common denominators, uh, I have added up the numerators here. It becomes one hundred eight by seven. Here minus four plus seven. It is three by nine, which is one by three. Then minus eight by seven plus one by three. The same is twenty one. The form is numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM plus again numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM. So solving that easy equation, it becomes minus eight into three plus one into this will be one. So seven divided by twenty one minus eight into three minus twenty four. This minus sign is not visible. Why I don't know. Twenty four plus seven minus seventeen 
by 21 which is the answer of this question so very easy for the common denominator, denominators add the numerators first of all then get the LCM and using this form the solve it very easy addition let's focus on the next question Many terms, many terms I can see in the next question. We are not scared, hello. So what is it? Evaluate. Okay. Let's do some so-called evaluation. 3 by 8 plus minus 5 by 12 plus 3 by 7. Plus 3 by 12 plus minus 5 by 8 plus minus 2 by 7. Okay, huge question coming up. So let's again see there are some common denominators. For the common denominator 8, I can add up its numerators 3 and minus 5. So this becomes equal to 3 plus minus 5 by 8. Then what is the what is the next common denominator? 12 is a common denominator here. For that, a numerator are minus 5 and 3, I can add them up. Plus minus 5 plus 3 by 12. And again, 7 is another common denominator. Okay. So similarly for denominator 7, I can add up its numerator. So plus 3 plus minus 2 by 7. For the common denominators, add up its numerators. Okay. Very easy. Then this becomes 3 plus minus 5 minus 2 by 8. Plus minus 5 plus 3 minus 2 by 12. Plus 3 minus 2 is 1. By 7. Just simplify this minus 2 by 8, it is minus 1 by 4, cancelling, and this minus 2 by 12 is minus 1 by 6. Okay, let me just check one thing. Let me just see. Seven equal to twenty four into seven. It is twenty four into seven one sixty eight. Okay. So eighty four equal to eighty four by two. Yes. Okay. So nothing that. So here. So first of all, LCM of these three denominators, 4, 6, 7. So LCM of 4, 6, 7 equal to what? 84. Okay. This is the LCM for these numbers. I hope you can see. So the form was what? Numerator minus 1 multiplied by denominator. Sorry, LCM divided by denominator 84 by 4 divided by numerator. Again, plus <coughs> sorry, numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by denominator. Again, plus numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by numerator very cool so this becomes minus 1 into 84 by 4 is 21 so minus 21 by 84 plus minus 1 in 84 by 6 is 14 minus 1 into 14 minus 14 plus 84 by 7, 12, 1 into 12, 12. Then for this common denominators, add up the numerators equal to 
minus 21 plus minus 14 means minus 14 plus 12 by 52 equal to minus from minus 14 minus 35 plus 12 minus 23 by 84 yeah that's the answer so same process for the common denominators 8 12 and 7 respectively add up the numerators then get this expression simplified into minus 1 by 4 plus minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 7 okay take out the lcm of 4 6 7 as 84 use this form numerator multiplied by lcm by denominator divided by lcm for the common denominators get the respective numerators then add up the numerators for the common denominators and get your respective answer so very easy okay always try to squeeze it see here the common denominators are there so why could i means run after the huge question yes you can do for all of these numbers get the lcm and then do this form for each of these numerators it will take a lot of time my dear okay so whatever see common denominators get their numerators added up it will become much more squeezed as you can see then it's easier for you to get the lcm of these three numbers you know from the small classes only i'm not doing it for that so let's see let's see the next question we are going so far so good now for minus 8 by 7 comma 5 by 14 check commutative property of addition hello man that's easy one what do we know the commutative property for two rational numbers is a by b plus c by d equal to c by d plus a by b okay so here what will it be your minus okay my pen is not doing well what happened my pen already feeling sleepy no so what will it be minus 8 by 7 plus 5 by 14 it will be equal to 5 by 14 plus minus 8 by 7 a plus b a, a by b plus c by d equal to c by d plus a by b we have to check if this is correct or not so for both the cases lcm of 14 and 7 is 28 okay or let's see so for this side numerator minus 8 multiplied by lcm by denominator 28 by 7 divided by denominator which is 28 here plus numerator 5 multiplied by lcm 28 divided by denominator 14 divided by lcm this will be equal to now this side addition this is 14 and 7 again lcm is 28 so equal to 5 into numerator uh, numerator into lcm 28 by denominator 14 divided by lcm which is 28 plus numerator minus 8 multiplied by lcm 28 divided by denominator 7 divided by the lcm 28 okay Let's calculate or minus 8. Okay, this pen is not going well, so I'm using the other pen. Okay. Yes, this, pen. this is much better. Or minus 8 multiplied by 28 by 7 is 4 divided by 28 plus 5 into 28 by 14 is 2 divided by 28 should be equal to here 5 into 28 by 14 is 2 divided by 28 
plus minus 8 multiplied by 28 by 7 is 4 divided by 28 okay or minus 32 plus 10 by 28 equal to 10 plus minus 8 to 4 minus 32 plus minus 32 means minus 32 32 by 28 you understood that I open up the brackets and for the common denominators add up the numerators in both the cases okay so here or minus 32 plus 10 is minus 22 by 28 equal to 10 minus 32 it is also equal to minus 22 by 28 okay therefore LHS equal to RHS therefore verify it understood that so basically we just according to the theorem put the values checked if this addition is equal to this addition by taking out the LCM of 49 7 as 28 and then numerator multiplied by LCM divided by denominator divided by LCM for all of these four cases and then after doing this addition we see that left hand side equal to right hand side therefore this is verified okay whenever you see left hand side equal to right hand side then it will be verified very easy just check the property by putting the numbers in this form a by b plus c by b equal to c by d plus a by b very easy let's see the next one okay Now, next question. 6. For minus 2 by 5, comma 4 by 15, comma minus 7 by 10, check the associative. property of addition suppose this is a by b this is c by d this e by a okay so then what does that mean that is the, what is the formula for associated property a by b which is minus 2 by 5 plus in brackets C by D plus E by A for these two plus minus 7 by 10. Okay. This will be equal to A by B plus C by D or minus 2 by 5 plus 4, 4 by 15 in brackets plus E by A for minus 7 by 10. That's all, all we have to do. Okay. So let's see if these additions comes true. Here, see. First of all, for this side. So LCM of fifteen comma ten equal to thirty. Okay. So doing that, it becomes four into thirty by fifteen by thirty plus minus 7 into 30 by 10 divided by 30 <coughs> okay this will be equal to <coughs> minus 2 by 5 plus 4 by 15 plus minus 7 by 10 <coughs> let's simplify this or minus 2 by 5 plus 4 into 30 by 15 is 4 into 2, 8. Plus minus 7 into 30 by 10 is minus 7 into 3, which is minus 21. Equal to minus 2 by 5 plus 4 by 15 
plus minus 7 by 10. Okay. Okay. Or minus 2 by 5 plus. So 8 minus 21. This is minus 13. Plus minus 13 by 30. Equal to. Now. So, here you can see another method is there too, means make the denominator same. See, you have to add this, you have to make the denominator same. So, what you can do, minus 2 into 3 divided by 5 into 3, okay. That will make the denominator same, okay, I am doing like that. Minus 2 into 3 by 5 into 3 plus 4 by 15 plus minus 7 by 10. You understood that? That means if you multiply the same number in numerator and denominator, the fraction will not get changed. But see this 5 into 3 15 and here also 15. That is our main issue. Minus 2 by 15. Similarly here see, if I do 5 into 6 it becomes 30. Okay. So if I here multiply by 6, they are in numerator also by 6. Minus 2 by 6 into 5 by 6 plus minus 13 by 30 equal to so here minus 2 to 3 minus 6 plus 4 by 15 plus minus 7 by 10 okay so what I am doing is I am rubbing this part okay I hope you remember all the theorems so I am rubbing it because otherwise you can't do the sums okay Remember this, this is very easy. I hope you already have memorized it. You all are intelligent students. Okay, now we have some space to solve this big sum. So let's do or here minus 2 into 6 minus 12 by 5 into 6 30 plus minus 13 by 30. Equal to minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 by 15 plus minus 7 by 30. Minus 7 by 30 not 10. Okay. So here for the common denominators minus 12 minus 13 by 30 equal to now C. We got the LCM of 15 and 10 as 30. So this becomes numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM. Again plus numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator 10 by LCM. Okay. Or uh, minus 12 minus 30 minus 25 by 30 equal to minus 2 into 30 by 15 is 2 by 30 plus minus 7 30 by 10 is 3 by 30. Okay, or minus 25 by 30 to so minus 22 minus 4 by 30 plus minus 7 into 3 minus 21 by 30. Or minus 25 by 30 minus 4 plus minus 21 means minus 21. For the common denominators, the numerators get added up. Or minus 25 by 30 equal to minus 25. 30. Therefore, LHS equal to RHS. Therefore, verified. Oh, it took me the whole board, man. Okay. So, using the property, just substituting the values A by B plus C by D plus C by A equal to A by B plus C by D plus C by A. Then here, I took the LCM of 15 and 10 as 30. Okay. Then, using this form, I got up to this equation. And then this by simplifying the numerator, and then we got 8 minus 21 minus 13 by 30. Then a very important thing here for this LA RHS, what I did is to get this denominator to 15, I multiplied this by 3 and this minus 2 by 3 as well. So minus 2 by 3 divided by 5 into 3, minus 2 into 3 divided by 5 into 3 plus 4 by 15. To multiply a fraction by the same number in numerator and denominator, 
the fraction doesn't get changed but here the denominator becomes same which will help us in addition so this became okay and minus 2 plus 30 minus 13 by 30 equal to this plus minus 7 by 10 then on this side to make this denominator 30 here this denominator i multiply 5 by 6 and then minus 2 by 6 as well plus minus 13 by 30 here equal to this will be minus 6 by 15 plus 4 by 15 for the denominator 15 minus 6 and plus 4 get added plus minus 7 by 10 so now here for minus 2 to 6 minus 12 by 30 plus minus 13 by 30 equal to here minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 by 15 plus minus 7 by 10 for the common denominators the numerators get added up here equal to now we got the LCM of 15 and 10 as 30 okay so using this form n into LCM divided by denominator divided by LCM we get this equation okay then minus 12 minus 13 minus 25 by 30 then simplifying the numerators here we get minus 2 into 2 plus minus 7 into 3 by 30 okay then again minus 4 by 30 plus minus 21 by 30 this equal to minus 4 minus 21 by 30 for the common denominator 30 the numerators get added up okay minus 4 minus 21 is minus 25 by 30 so left hand side equal to right hand side here therefore this law of associative property is verified for these three numbers observe minutely just after getting this equation frame step by step first this addition okay then after adding this then this plus this sum equal to this sum first then this sum plus this sum and then step by step keep going it might take you a um, whole page but no problems just keep going yes it took me the whole board but see the sum is clear so easy let's see the next one so provings are a little bit long type questions but if you know exactly what is the means law of the proving you can substitute the values and be the king of proving okay Proving is a means, I will, I think that a sum that can guarantee you full marks if you know the theorem. And see, here it's very easy, right? Let's see the next question. So what happened to my pen now? I don't know. Let's see if someone else wants to help us. My pens, they are lazy, you know. Question sir, here. Find the additive inverse. of 4 by minus 9 okay 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 hello my black pen are you back i think he is somehow so you remember this a by minus b equal to minus a by b comma additive inverse i'm writing in short form of minus of a by b equal to minus a by b okay <coughs> so 4 by minus 9 equal to minus 4 by 9 comma ai or additive inverse of minus 4 by 9 equal to what see additive inverse of a by b equal to a into minus 1 by b I can write equal to a into minus 1 by b okay so this becomes equal to minus 4 into minus 1 by 9 a into minus 1 by b this is equal to minus 4 in minus minus plus 4 into 1 4 4 by 9 that is the answer first convert this a by minus b form to minus a by b form okay the additive inverse of a by b here a by b will be equal to minus a by b is equal to a into minus 1 by b as you can see here okay a into minus 1 is minus 3 so i've just converted it so minus 4 into minus 1 is 4 by 9 very easy let's see the next sum um, this eight i think is next year what is it Again, find the additive inverse. 
It's a good question, I'm telling you. Short question, but a good one. Of minus 4 by minus 3. Okay, AI equal to additive inverse, I'm writing. Because you might get confused, what is AI? Not artificial integrated unit, what they call AI computer, that one. Okay, I just don't remember the term. Okay. This one, see, when you see a fraction like this form, minus A by minus B, this minus minus are actually not there. Okay. Minus minus get cancelled out. Minus A by minus B equal to A by B. Remember this. Okay. Or minus 4 by minus 13 equal to what? This minus minus gets cancelled out. 4 by 13. Now AI or additive inverse of 4 by 13 or A by B equal to A or 4 into minus 1 divided by B or 13. 4 into minus 1, 4 minus 4 by minus 13. That's the answer. First from minus A by minus B form, converted into A by B form. A by B is more additive inverse is A into minus 1 by B, 13, and get the answer accordingly. That was a trick. Okay. This will be A by B minus minus get cancelled out. You can see directly in the question. So let's see the next one. Little concepts. It's all about this chapter. Nothing else. Small, small things, but they can be dangerous if you don't know them. Or oh, true or false. 7 by 9 equal to 7 plus 5 by 9 plus 5. Okay. True or false. So, this becomes or 7 by 9 will be equal to 7 plus 5, 12. 9 plus 5, 14. Okay. So what you can do to check is just cross multiply here. 7 into 14 will be equal to 9 into 12. Okay. Or 7 into 14 will be equal to 9 into 12. Okay. So this is the cross multiplication form. A by B equal to C by D. Therefore, A into D equal to B into C. Remember this? Okay. Like that, this becomes 7 into 14 it is 98. 9 into 12 is 108. So C. Left hand side not equal to our right hand side. So this is wrong. When left hand side not equal to right hand side. Then it is wrong. That means this statement is false. Therefore false. You understood? Simplify this first. 7 plus 5 12 by 14. Okay. Then cross multiply. A into D equal to B into C. Sorry, B into C, okay? And then check if LHS left hand side equal to right hand side. If not, false. If yes, then true. Very easy. Let's see the next one. Lesson 10 now. Seven by nine equal to seven by five divided by 9 by 5. True or false? Again. So you know this. A by B divided by C by D equal to A by B into D by C. Remember this one. Why I am telling you? 7 by 9 equal to equal to 7 by 5 divided by 9 by 5. It's like that only, right? 7 by 5, we are divided by 9 by 5. Just like that. So, A by B divided by C by D equal to A by B into D by C. <coughs> the term called reciprocal. We will learn that. This C by D, when we are just changing the numerator to <coughs> downwards and numerator upwards, this is called reciprocal. Okay. So, not now. 7 by 9 equal to 7 by 5 into 5 by 9. Okay. Then cancel this. Or 7 by 9 equal to 7 by 9. So see. Therefore, left hand side equal to right hand side 
therefore two very easy we just converted this seven by five divided by nine by five a by b by a by c by d equal to a by b into b by c just turn it upside down nothing else cancel this equal to seven by nine left hand side equal to right hand side this is true so easy let's see the next one okay minus 5 by minus 12 is a negative rational number true or false okay so you remember one thing I told you minus a by minus b this minus minus get cancelled out equal to 5 by 2 so both numerator and denominator are now positive and this is in the form of a p by q and p and q are integers q not equal to 0 so this is a rational number but this is not negative when the, both the minus signs are getting cancelled out this is becoming for numerator and denominator positive okay so 5 by 12 is not negative not negative okay what the hell now to my pen my black pen is trying to help me today not negative therefore false we see that they are telling it's a negative, but it's not negative actually. Minus minus get cancelled out. It's a positive number. So it's false. Why negative? Why giving the blame of a negative person? Why if it is positive because of this one? Minus by minus p, minus minus cancel. So a by b. Okay. So we have now arrived to the last question of today. So we have to Minus 13 to a count of divided by 13, which is smaller. So, okay. Okay. So, what you have to do here is first of all, make a denominator same for both, both of these. Minus 13 by 25 equal to LCM of 25 comma 13 okay this is equal to let's yes, check 325 i think yes okay you can but we we'll see there's a method to make the denominator same no yeah you, know, you can just first of all multiply the denominators okay and suppose this is the lcm Take this this is not the LCM actually, I don't know if it is. It's a method. So you can consider this as 325 by multiplying the numerators. A minus 13 by 25 can be equal to minus numerator multiplied by which is here LCM 325 divided by denominator divided by LCM 325 equal to minus 13 into 325 by 25 it is equal to 13 divided by 325 13 into 13 equal to 169 minus 169 by 325 similarly 25 by 13 equal to numerator 25 multiplied by lcm 325 divided by denominator 13 divided by lcm 325 Equal to 325, 325 by 13, 25 divided by 325. Or equal to 25 into 25, is 625 by 325. Now see, when the denominators are same, no. Check the numerators which is larger. Here see, minus 169, smaller than 625 okay that's clear to anyone 
therefore now see minus 169 by 325 this is smaller than sign 625 by 325 now put the denominator now minus 169 by 325 is minus 13 by 25 or minus 13 by 25 is smaller than 625 by 325 is 25 by 13 okay and that is the answer of this question okay so what we did we this was the lcm okay 325 we did numerator multiplied by lcm divided by denominator divided by lcm for both these numbers to make the denominator same for the same denominators we checked which numerator was smaller minus 169 was smaller than 625 here obviously then minus 169 by 325 was smaller than 625 by 325 minus 169 by 325 minus minus 13 by 25 so smaller than 625 by 325 which was 25 by 13 so minus 13 by 25 is smaller that's the answer smaller than sign okay so that's the end of rational numbers part one for class a so in this video we learned about what is a rational number how can it be expressed p by q p and q can be integers q is not equal to zero and can be anything else we learned commutative property for two rational numbers a by b and c by d this is a by b plus c by d equal to c by d plus a by b and we also learned about the associative property for three rational numbers a by b c by d e by e f which is a by d plus sum of c by d plus e by f equal to sum of a by d plus c by d and e by f okay then we learned about additive inverse additive inverse of a rational number a by b it is minus a by b equal to a into minus 1 by b we also learned a by minus b equal to minus a by b and minus a by minus b minus minus b cancelled out a by b also learned that for the common denominators of two rational numbers the numerators get added up okay i learned this method to convert two denominators into same of two rational numbers do numerator multiplied by lcm of the denominators divided by the denominator divided by lcm for both the denominators to make the denominator same then add up the numerators and get the answer okay so this was all from rational numbers part one class eight on my channel okay so in part two we will be now concentrating on subtraction and its properties of rational numbers for class eight a good video is going to be so stay tuned for that so till then if you found my video on rational numbers part one for class eight consisting of the properties of addition and various concepts of rational numbers informative and helpful all the important formulas and all the sums that i did were very means clear for you you had no doubts then leave a like share and subscribe my channel it motivates me to make these better videos for you so till my next video on the part two of this chapter with a lot of love from my side to all my little brothers and sisters take care and goodbye thank you